大家好，我是 Olive Branch Dial。So in an attempt to live a healthier life, it is easy to buy food items with package labels that say low fat or healthy. But unfortunately, this well-intentioned, albeit lazy, way of trying to live a healthier life can often get you into more trouble than not in this highly capitalized society. Is low-fat foods really better for you? What about low-sugar foods? In this video, I'm going to compare the two with a specific example to see if these food packaging labels have any merit. So when I was little, I used to love eating Oreo cookies. In fact, I still do. However, let's look into two Oreo cookie types: reduced fat and sugar-free Oreo cookies to see what the labels actually mean and what the nutritional label actually shows. So if you're new to this channel, then you might be thinking that low fat or anything that's less in fat in nature might be good for you. However, I do want to refer you back to my older video on fat and why some fats are actually not just healthy for you, but they're essential, and how some other fats are in fact very bad for you. The difference you'll need to go back to that video because I do go into detail explaining the two. So if we look into the label now of reduced fat, and sure enough, the fat content is quite low. But if you start to look at the ingredients list, you'll see that there is still some oils in there, and that is canola oil, which I have mentioned in my earlier video is actually not the healthy type. What is also not low in the nutritional label is the sugar content. You can see the sugar is actually quite high, and again, if I refer you back to my earlier video on sugar, that explains in quite detail why sugar is actually one of the main reasons for obesity and chronic disease. So you really actually don't want to eat too much sugar, in fact, and added together with the unhealthy oil, you really need to start to question whether reduced fat Oreo cookies are actually the healthier alternative or not. Now, if we look at the other Oreo type of cookie, the low or the sugar-free Oreo cookie, it actually does show zero sugars, but that's because the sugars have been replaced by sugar alcohols. Specifically, maltitol. And what is sugar alcohol? It's a big topic that I will actually make a separate video in the future. For now, just understand that maltitol is this、uh, substance that does cause some sweetness in the mouth and taste. However, we don't really know the full effects as we haven't done any long-term studies on sugar alcohol. Not only that, but if you look at the carbohydrate count, that's actually quite still high. So although sugars is zero, carbohydrates is still high, and that's because of the wheat flour that's used to make the cookie. Wheat flour is just glucose, and glucose is still a sugar, and it still will spike your insulin and all that stuff that I mentioned in my sugar video still happens. And so the sugar, the nutrition label, they do make a distinction between carbohydrates and sugars, but it actually affects your liver very much the same way in that it is not good. So the label sugar-free, you kind of have to really question whether that is accurate or if that's even honest. And not only that, guys. If you continue to look at the ingredients list, you will still see canola oil in the list. So, again, I mentioned that the the canola oil is not very good for your body. And so, added together, the sugar-free Oreo cookie. In the end, I I cannot say that it is actually a healthy art alternative. So that's it, guys. I know we're all very busy people, but if you truly want to live a healthier life, you have to educate yourself so that you can avoid all the pitfalls and the traps. Because in the end, you're responsible for your health. The food companies definitely aren't. I hope you found that useful. And as always, please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.